Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here bringing you more scrap mechanic. Now I've spent some more time with the game and I'm a little more confident with the mechanics and the gadgets that I'm going to be using. So I think it's time to build something a little bit more complicated and I believe that's going to be a rocket chopper. Okay, I think I want to try to avoid using blocks for this build. I want to start using more of the odds and end pieces. I don't I want to kind of get away from the blocks. So I think I'm going to use for the base, I think I want to use a pillar or some sort of beam. Let's see, uh, maybe maybe this one here. This, this might be a little too heavy, but I, I don't know. I really want to put a lot of power behind it, so maybe the weight won't be too much of an issue. And let's get us a driver's seat here. And let's see, I want to lay this flat here and... Just stick the driver's seat on there. That should be enough room. I gotta figure if I wanna put the motor in the front or the back. Uh, let's see. I wanna make a beefy suspension in the back. That way, because I know this is probably gonna be fairly heavy here, so I'm gonna need quite a bit of movement back there. The weight's not real stiff. So let's let's grab a couple more pieces here that I think I might be able to use. Get my motor. Okay, we're going to stick this in the back, and I think I'm going to probably throw the motor on top right there. And then let's go ahead and put a suspension on it. I, I like doing this design where I throw these bars up, and well, if I can get on top of the bike here, I need to be able to get up there. I'm going to like to put these pipes going up, and then I'll curve them off to the side or to the back, and then I'll throw a off-road suspension on it. And I've tested this a little bit, and this really seems to work pretty good. And it, and it also looks good. It looks better than just throwing blocks up and throwing a suspension part in there. So I'm going to put those there, and we're going to grab our big suspension piece and throw one there and there. I'm going to try to keep the actual bike part skinny because I want to I want to somehow incorporate rockets to the side or somewhere on this bike. So I'm thinking about kind of putting them to the side. So I need to move some parts to the back so the suspension can kind of, instead of curving it out, I'm going to curve it to the back like this. And for the front, I guess I could do, I don't know, I want a chopper, a chopper's bars hang really far out and the front hangs out, so how am I going to make that curve? Say I'm going to avoid blocks here, but I might have to use some. I don't know. Let me see. I need something that I can put the bearings on the side here. And I don't want something that goes too far over the front, too. If I'm in first person, I want to be able to see over the bars here. Uh, maybe I can throw those to the side here. Don't necessarily want it to be that wide, though. I might not have a choice here, though. Because I kind of, I'm really wanting to keep the rockets to the side. So let me kind of see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go over and pick out. Let's try, I'm going to experiment with some of these beams here. And see what I can do. Um, no. I guess I could stick it to the side here. I don't know if that really makes that much sense though. Like I'm. I need these to go up and I'm gonna need something to hang over and I gotta figure out a way to make the steer. I have an idea of how it would work. Cause all the steering, of course, on a bike is most of the time it's actually done by leaning, but I don't you know, there's not gonna be a lean in the game, so it's gonna have to be all be done by the front suspension and the front turning, so let's see if we can add these. See if I can try I'm trying to hook these onto the side here, because I have an idea. I'm going to try to hook these on the side, and I can send, put two bearings up there, and I can send the bars down, and I might have to use, I said I didn't want to use tile, but I might have to use one or two blocks here. Maybe I'll use this tile one here. Uh, I could put one on each side here and maybe make the bars go up. I didn't, didn't necessarily want to use these, so that's that's a little, I don't know. See, if I make these go up here, I'm going to throw a bearing in the center and try to make some sort of mechanism go down. That way I can turn the bike. And I, I didn't say I want to use, I said I didn't want to use blocks, but I'm going to have to put those two there. 
Probably could have found an alternative part, but I guess, I guess I'll go ahead and use this. And I need my, there they are, I need my pipes back. Should have not gotten rid of them in the first place. So let's get our pipes here and suspension part. I'm going to go ahead and go with the really heavy suspension again on the front and we need our controller. So my ideal here is to put the suspension, and I'm going to use the controller because you can't actually do this as you're building. You need the controller to aim it down, or not exactly down, but at an angle. That way it'll look like a bike. So I'm going to stick the controller down here in between. And I might need to test this out and see if I can go ahead and figure the angle out. Let's get a uh, switch here. Actually, I don't need a switch if I'm going to do this automatically. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and connect these here with our tool. And let's go ahead and skid into the controller here and get around to it. I think, I think this is how this is going to work. Let me, uh, let me check here. Need to, they just need to, off the start, they need to be at an angle. I don't need to, it doesn't need to switch at any time. So let's try 30 and 30. Oh. And get off the lift here. Okay. No, one. Okay, that one. Okay, now they're both. That that actually might be a good angle there. Let me uh, let me put it back on the lift and let's see what happens when I start to stick these bars here. Let's see. Stick the bars and stick the suspension here. And this. I wonder how close I'm going to be to the ground here. Wait, I need a way to turn it too, so let's go ahead and stick these here. And I need to find that little bit smaller bar. Uh, what am I doing? Here we go. There's a smaller bar. And we'll need to connect these to the bottom. So, there we go. Okay, now back to the suspension. And we're going to... Go ahead and put the wheels. I'm going to do a double wheel here in the front. So I know most motorcycles only have one wheel, but this is kind of a off-road, and it's probably going to be fairly heavy. So, And I also kind of when I was thinking, you know, if I'm going to do this one wheel, I, I'm not happy here. Let's see. Something's not right. I think, the, uh, I, think I want to throw this a little bit lower. No, I just had a complete pause there, a complete brain fart. I was trying to figure out if I actually put the bearings on. I could have just went to the connector tool, but I've done this so many times where I've kind of built something and then I figured out, oh, I didn't stick a bearing where I should have, and then I had to tear apart half the build. So it's just, it's now my pet peeve. I'm going to constantly go back and, yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right, the bearings, everything should be in the right spot, so let's go ahead and stick the wheels on and... That looks that looks pretty awesome. Let's see. I think I think we're about ready to connect everything here. So let's go ahead and put the motor, and I'm gonna make it drive off the back wheels here, and we're gonna make it the steering and the controller. Okay, steering and. Go ahead and switch these. I always have a problem with these. Now sometimes, like I said, I, I do ramble on, so I'm playing this as I'm recording my voice. So you, you know, if I if I just ramble, that wow, that actually looks cool. I'm actually, fairly happy with that. That that's that's probably the quickest I've been happy with that. And I've already screwed up the steering. Let's go back. Okay, it steers. Let's go ahead and fix the back wheels. And let's do, do just a little bit of driving here. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. And something looks a little strange. Oh, when I turn the wheel here, it looks like he's doing the opposite of what's actually happening with the wheel. I'm gonna have to switch that around. But other than that, it's it's pretty good. It's Feels like the suspension's working. The back's moving a little bit. And 
Let's just drive this around. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. But now, here comes the question of, I want to incorporate rockets. I, I would like to, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to necessarily get this thing to fly, but I want it to be ultra fast. So I, need, I probably need to find a way to get rockets onto here. So let's like, poke out pipe here. Don't want it to. I might try to do a like a make the rockets unfold from it. I don't know if that's really going to be that possible. Those rockets are going to be fairly heavy. I don't think I might be tipping the bike over, but let me brainstorm here a little bit. Okay, after brainstorming, I've decided to abandon the folding because I sat here for 30 minutes trying to figure this out. But while I was doing that, I did kind of figure out a maybe a pipe design to send these rockets to the back or really to the side here. So we're going to place this here, and this is going to drive me nuts because I'm going to have to try to match this on both sides. Now, I, the pipe I'm laying here, I don't think it's necessary, but it's more like for looks. I like the way... I had it all set up while ago, but I had it with a bunch of bearings thinking that I was going to make this fold out in some cool way, but it just didn't really work with the bike because the weight was shifting and I just I was never happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out of the video and let's see, I can't quite get, I'm trying to get it to where it attaches back to the uh, cockpit here, but can't reach the other side, so I'm going to have to keep stacking tires here, and I can't even do those correct here. There we go. Alright, well, well, that's not helping me. Can't get over that. Yeah, let's try this. There we go. That's, that's, that's better. I'm just going to send that around here. And uh, no, was that too? Oh, yeah, it was too far. Was it? Yeah, yeah. And now here comes the challenge. I've got to match this on the other side, which is this is going to be tedious. Let's see how long this takes. Let me get the design to come around the side and up the side of the bike here. And wait a minute. Nope. I not oh no I didn't go I need to go a little further I can clear the wheel here let's see so get one of those off it's had a little pipe here and now I can send it to the back it should be fine now send that back there and watch my rocket yeah I think I'm really just gonna go for speed I, I can't figure out I'd have to attach a whole bunch of more rockets to attempt to steer this thing so I'm really going for ground speed, and then maybe if I can hit a jump and launch it with the rockets. So let's try to match this up on the other side. This is going to be a challenge here, because I'm not very good. Um, something about trying to match things up on other side, each side, I, I don't know. I get really bad at it, and I have to go back and forth constantly. I'm sure I'm not the only one that does this, though. So, nope, that's not right. All right, switch that there. All right, I think that's correct. I believe that matches on both sides, and that actually is, that looks cool. I like the way that looks. It almost looks like exhaust coming out into the uh, rockets. So I'm trying to think if I want to add anything else here. I guess I'm going to have to add another. No. I I'm going to have to add another controller here. Let's see. Let's just place it here. Let's place it right by the other one. Let's get the connector and connect to the... Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, no, I don't need a controller. This is The rockets work off a button, and I need to map the button to the cockpit here. That way I can use it from when I'm driving. Okay. Where do I want to stick this button at? Just shove it somewhere. It's kind of out of sight. Oh, yeah, that's a good spot. Okay, now let's connect everything. So we can connect the rockets to the button, and I'm going to need to connect the button to the cockpit, and it will map it. It maps it to one. And take that off. That looks, that looks good. I think we're ready to try it here. Alright. 
Ooh, yeah, you can definitely feel the weight. It might be an issue here. It feels like the rockets are possibly skimming. Oh, oh! Yeah. Ooh, that's kind of weird. Did a real lazy tip there. Alright, let's try this again. It, it steers fairly well. I think it's bottoming out. It's I think the rockets are catching the ground when I'm attempting to turn. Let's see if we can launch a little bit here. Nope. Yeah, I think it's it's the terrain and the mixture of that. I think the mixture of it hitting the rockets. Let's just try to see if I can just pick up some straight line speed. I, I really need like a flat area somewhere. So I need to explore the map so I can find something really flat. Either that or I need to change... Maybe I need to change some suspension. Let's see if we can get some air here. Nope. Oh! Yeah, that... That was... Okay. I figured that would tip over. But now, some of the physics are a little bit wonky whenever you fall upside down. It doesn't seem like... It seems like some of the weight just, like, disappears. Because you can see there, it was standing on the front of the bike when clearly the weight's all in the back. And I forgot the bike. So let's go back here and get it. And... Alright. Let's grab the bike and let's try to set it somewhere somewhat flat here. I think I know what I'm going to do here. It seems like the back... And let me correct that. I'm correcting that. That that's, was bugging me because when the guy would turn one way, it actually would go the other. So that... I believe that will correct that. So I'm gonna chop off. I think I'm gonna chop off the suspension here. I'm gonna add one more piece, like maybe a half bar, and see if I can get it to clear a little bit better. So let me find no the there it is. Get the half bar here, and I, I believe this will give me the clearance that I need to. Uh, not drag those rockets, or at least not drag them quite as bad, because when I'm dragging them, when they're hitting the ground, it's actually changing the direction of the bike itself, and I don't really like that. So, let's see. What am I doing? I need to grab will. I need my wills. And there. And let's throw that there. And I'm probably going to have to, yeah, to reconnect them here engine and aim in the right way wheels are turning the right way and can I know I've already done that all right I don't think of anything else that I really need to do I think it's time to see if this works a little bit better let me go ahead and give it a little bit more power here also okay I, I think it looks good I can't think of anything else really to do. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going for really a flight, so I'm just going for pure speed now. It's not going to say I'm not going to launch it off something. So let's see. Oh yeah, the suspension's moving. You can tell instantly it's moving a lot more here. And it definitely feels better. It feels more agile. And then the boost of speed helps a little bit too, it feels like. Let's see, I think I'm going to... this is a hill. Or I'm sure there's a cliff I can launch this thing off of. And, and that's still not... I wouldn't say it's the most nimble turning thing, but it, it's, it feels pretty good, actually. Let's see, I'm going to find my way up this hill here. And... Alright, ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth. I found a cliff. I'm going to launch it off it and see if it maybe flies a little bit. I don't know. Let's see if I can send it down straight here. And rocket boosters. And it float. Nope. Nope. Oh. Ouch. I think I broke it. Nope. Nope. Just pop back together. Well, it doesn't fly. It has speed, so it does mostly what I want it to do. That's a... Uh, if I can think of a way to make this fly later, I, I might go back and work on it, but I think I'm going to leave it alone here. I don't want to add much more to it because I'm going to make it just over, overly complicated. And I, I like the way it is now. I, I like what it is. So, I, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. I'm still having a lot of fun with this game, so I, I believe I'm going to play it some more. So, we'll see you guys next time.